Summary of Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine by Gail Honeyman. Eleanor Oliphant, a finance clerk entering her 30s, has been working at the same graphic design company since she finished college. She's an oddball who prefers to be alone and has trouble making friends. She often makes people uncomfortable by saying what's on her mind. Eleanor has a strict routine that makes her lonely and keeps her alone. The only people who come to her flat are social workers and utility companies who come to read the meter. On the weekends, she usually eats frozen pizza and drinks vodka, and her only regular social activity is talking to her mother once a week. Every time Eleanor talks to her mother on the phone, it hurts and makes her feel beaten and unworthy of love and respect. Eleanor had a hard childhood, but she only talks about it indirectly and in vague terms because she doesn't fully understand the pain she went through or how it affects her life now. A scar that runs down the right side of Eleanor's face is the most obvious sign that she was hurt as a child. Eleanor says that the scar was caused by a fire, but she never says who started the fire or why. Eleanor wins tickets to a local show in an office raffle one fateful day. At the show, Eleanor sees neighborhood musician Johnny Lomond and falls in love with him right away. Before she even meets Johnny, Eleanor starts a series of physical changes to try to win him over and make sure that her future will be filled with romance and free of loneliness. Mummy is the biggest fan of Eleanor's project of chasing Johnny. She thinks that her embarrassing disappointment of a daughter's only way to improve her life is to find a good husband. Eleanor changes the way she looks to make herself more beautiful, and she buys her first smartphone and laptop so she can look up Johnny on social media and learn more about her supposed soulmate. One day, Eleanor and Raymond, the new and friendly IT guy at her office, see an old man pass out in the middle of the street after work. They call an ambulance for him and then go to the hospital to see him. Eleanor and Raymond saved Sammy Tom's life, and he will always be thankful to them. He treats them like family and introduces them to his children. Laura, Sammy's daughter, is a beautiful hairdresser and business owner. She asks Eleanor and Raymond to a party for her father's homecoming. Before Eleanor knows it, her life goes from being lonely and routine to being full of friends, parties, and surprises. Eleanor and Raymond get closer as they send each other emails and eat lunch together regularly at a cafe near their office. They go to Sammy's son Keith's 40th birthday party. As Eleanor and Raymond drink wine together at the party, Eleanor tells Raymond about how her ex-boyfriend, Declan, used to beat her up. Sammy will soon die from a heart attack. Raymond and Eleanor go to his funeral, which makes them feel sad and raw. Raymond then tells Eleanor that his father has died. Eleanor tells Raymond how she got her scar in return. Eleanor likes her busy new life, but she keeps working on her obsession with the musician. She is eagerly waiting for the day when she can finally meet him and let them fall in love. The big day finally comes, and the musician plays another gig at a nearby venue. Eleanor gets dressed, puts on makeup, and grabs a place close to the stage. As the singer plays and talks to the crowd, Eleanor suddenly realizes that he is not the perfect, sophisticated man she thought he was. Instead, he is a cocky, untalented arse. Eleanor is so ashamed that she gets very drunk. Eleanor has a nervous breakdown when a fog machine that makes stage smoke gives her flashbacks to the fire. She runs outside to get away. Next thing Eleanor knows, she's naked and surrounded by empty vodka bottles in her flat. She keeps drinking and making plans for how to kill herself. Raymond shows up at Eleanor's door, worried that she hasn't been at work for three days. This stops her from going through with her plans. Eleanor stops drinking with Raymond's help and starts going to a doctor. At first, Eleanor isn't sure that therapy can solve her problems, but in the end, her therapist, Dr. Temple, helps her deal with her past. During her therapy meetings, Eleanor tells Dr. Temple about her time in foster care, her abusive mother, and her younger sister Marianne, who died in the fire that mummy started to kill both Marianne and Eleanor. Dr. Temple helps Eleanor understand and get over the shame and guilt she feels because of her difficult childhood. He also gives her the strength to stop talking to her mean mother. 
When Eleanor goes back to work after a medical break, her co-workers are happy to see her. Throughout most of the book, Eleanor refuses to talk about her past, choosing instead to ignore the things that are too painful for her to face. At the end, Eleanor thinks she is ready to talk about what happened to her and find out the whole truth. Eleanor finds two newspaper stories about the event with the help of Raymond. She reads the news stories and finds out that Marianne and Mummy died in the fire and that all of the years she spent talking to Mummy every week were a lie. Raymond asks Eleanor what's going on with her. Eleanor says she's fine for the first time in her life, and she means it. Still, Eleanor knows she has a lot to unpack, so she chooses to keep seeing Dr. Temple. Raymond tells her he'll see her soon as they part ways. About the author. In 1972, Gail Honeyman was born to a mother who worked as a civil servant and a father in science. At Glasgow University, where she went to college, she studied French language and literature. She got her master's degree in French poetry from the University of Oxford, but she didn't want to work at the university, so she got backroom jobs at Glasgow University instead. Honeyman took a writing class while she was working as an office manager. There, she wrote short stories and started to write Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine came out in 2017 and has won many awards, including the 2017 Costa First Novel Award, the Debut Book of the Year and Overall Winner Awards at the 2018 British Book Awards, and the Overall Winner Award at the 2018 American Book Awards. She resides in Glasgow. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. Please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.